Hello, today I'll be taking you through Microsoft Access, uh, uh, that is Microsoft Access database, the advanced level of it. Therefore, uh, today's objectives, I, I, I would wish at the end of the lesson or at the end of this session, you'd be in a position to create a switchboard uh, or uh, sometimes we may create a main form instead of a switchboard but the professional way of doing it is uh, to create a switchboard then I will later take you uh, through uh, creating a splash form uh, this is a form that um, this is a form that runs before the login screen or before the program launches it can just like have something like welcome or I'm loading in two seconds. Then uh, I will be showing you how to set up uh, Microsoft Access project. That is pack and go. That is when you are done and you want it to run. Therefore, welcome and uh, watch uh, whatever I'll be taking you through. Uh, kindly remember also to subscribe. Uh, to my channel, this Don Gichai. Uh, we are ready to go. Therefore, we shall launch Microsoft Access. Okay, having a program like this one, if you look at the, the navigation pane here, uh, this is a complete program. Uh, it has a tables. It also have queries. It have forms. It also contain um, uh, reports. Therefore, in Microsoft 2010, 2013, 2016, and 2019, they share a lot. And in fact, if you run uh, your staff using Microsoft Office 2010, then you are good to go. All others, 2013 above, you'll be in a position to uh, use them. The only difference is that 2-bit and 64-bit uh, point of it. Therefore, uh, for Microsoft uh, 2010 and above, uh, you may not see the switchboard uh, icon anywhere here. And therefore, you need to get it from the quick access to Ruba. Therefore, you go to customize quick access to Ruba. Then uh, you go to more commands. Uh, when you go to uh, more commands, you need to include uh, you need to include the, the switchboard uh, manager so that you can be in a position to uh, work on it. Therefore, you, you, you first of all come to choose commands, uh, popular commands, and choose all, all commands. Now, once you choose all commands, you scroll down. You scroll down. Uh, they are arranged alphabetically. Therefore, you go to letter S and then you can be in a position to, to scroll until you get the word switchboard. Yeah, here we go. Therefore, this is the switchboard manager. You add it. It has been added. Then, after adding, you click on OK. Therefore, you realize that the switchboard manager has been added on your extreme top left corner. Therefore, now I can be in a position to uh, come up with my uh, switchboard. Therefore, uh, for instance, you can just click on it. It will launch uh, this wizard. The switchboard manager was unable to find a valid switchboard in this database. Would you like to create one? Yes. Therefore, I would like to create one. This one takes me to uh, this dialog box. And if you are very keen, you, uh, you realize that it has added in the forms. Uh, we had reports, MM, filter, family pro, it has added the switchboard. Therefore, from here, uh, I just go to new, uh, then I click on OK. Then from there, I just click on the new switchboard I need, then edit. Uh, when I click on edit, then I will be in a position to give my switchboard name. Like now, I can just call it. Uh, family pro main form. Mm -hmm. If that is a 
I'm gonna pro. We can correct that way. Then from uh, after doing that, we can just click on new. Now after clicking on new, you choose a command. Like for example, uh, I need to open form in add mode. Then uh, I will be in a position to choose the form I need. Like for example, I need to open mm. Then at this point, I write the caption what I want written on my switchboard. I can now open uh, open the main form. Then I click on OK. Uh, on the other hand, I may also add another new. Uh, then I need to open a report. Therefore, open report. It will now open report. Which report do I want to open? Mm, like for example, I may wish to open uh, report uh, chai. Then I can just open here. I write open open chai. Then I click on OK. Then uh, I may also add another one new. Uh, this one I need to uh, open the filters. Open form in add mode. Then I need to open form filter. Then I can just click here. Open open form filters. Uh, then from there I can just click on cross. Uh, then make it default, then cross. Uh, then uh, if now I launch my switchboard from this point, you realize that I have uh, created my uh, switchboard here. Uh, this switchboard of mine uh, will contain the following. For example, if I now run the, the switchboard, uh, you see, when now I click one of the buttons, uh, this that is open main form. It has opened the main form. Right now, let me close just to make it um, uh, nice. Therefore, this is my switchboard. This is the form containing all the objects that I need uh, them open. Like, for example, if I want to open form Gichai, you see, it has opened. Uh, that sorry report report is green in the color here it has opened the port if i need to open the main form i just click then it opens the uh, the main form in that now i can navigate through my system so that's how you create a switchboard simply uh, you just need to uh, uh, go using that then we need to create a splash screen this is a screen uh, whereby before now the switchboard opens, it will be a motion to welcome the user. Then it uh, uh, helps you to uh, to run, to go to the switchboard. Therefore, you just go to create. Then you go to form design. Now having uh, this, this blank form, you can just save it. Uh, splash, splash that way. Uh, then we can uh, uh, put some photo you can just put a photo here by going to properties then we choose form we go to where the picture is this point i click these three dotted lines mm -hmm. it will take me to where my my pictures are uh, like for example mm -hmm. we have uh, to to get it to use a photo like this one then you can uh, uh, change the clip mode like stretch uh, the last point to make it better uh, then you can cross the property sheet and save your form therefore if I run my form this is how my splash form looks like uh, then I just go back to design view then I need to write something just take the label and write here that Welcome to Families Pro. Welcome to Families Pro. Then you go home. You can uh, choose your favorite uh, color that probably you need displayed. Then you can increase the font size. 
that is uh, welcome to families pro then if i run you see now welcome to family pro and uh, i have a photograph there for my splash form uh, then i can just go back to design view properties uh, you can let's go to form and then go to I just need the form then go to where the picture is uh, strange uh, zoom let's the photo let, let it remain that we zoomed yeah that we need therefore welcome to families pro this is my fra uh, the splash form then we can just uh, write that um, please hold on please hold on for 30 seconds 30 seconds i'm loading yeah, that is a notification to the user just be patient uh, the system is loading that way then this one can be something like red in color yeah then you can run a form to see how it looks like please hold on uh, hold on should be hold on uh, hold on for 30 seconds i'm loading uh, that's our splash form but now for us to make this uh, form the splash form to load and uh, go for 30 seconds and then uh, connect with the switch board uh, we can first of all cross the switch board you need to put a code therefore you go back to uh, this uh, design view go back to design view then you go to properties now once we go to uh, properties uh, we need to go to on timer event that is we go to form uh, once you go to form then we go on to on timer that is uh, form then we go to event then we go to on timer this way up to this point uh, therefore we go to uh, to this point on timer that is this point on timer then we go to event procedure but we can just an assign uh, 3000 milliseconds then we go to uh, event uh, at this point we type do command that is do cmd dot cross we shall be, that one that code will be crossing the main form then we'll come the other one do cmd dot open form then we give the name of the form switchboard spelling must be correct switch board that way uh, then you save your work after saving you just close this one uh, and then and now if i run this one i see good you see after uh, 3000 milliseconds the the splash form will now allow the the, the switch board to load good it's working therefore you can also uh, now finish on the starting up that is uh, you go to the the next objective now so far i have shown you how to create the switch board uh, how to create a splash form let's go to our last objective that is pack and go or setting up an access project now this one will allow you to uh, compact in that the splash form will run for 3000 milliseconds then it will now uh, allow you to access the uh, the main form therefore let's uh, see how that one is accomplished uh, first of all you just go to fire then you go to options now this dialog box opens the access uh, options you go to current database uh, at this point current database you type the the you type the the title 
like now this is guiding and counseling pro therefore you can just uh, change this one to families families pro 2020 then if you have icons downloaded you can change the icon but i'm not interested in that therefore then display form which form are we supposed to display our first form to load is splash form so that it can overcome the other forms then always uh, it's advisable to put compact on cross then you remove this part uh, this part this part the the uh, right the, the leftmost part of access project is called the navigation pane you remove it you don't need it and you can also restrict you can also restrict the arrow full of menus or what but for now let's leave them but uh, okay, we, we can just uh, uh, remove or uncheck around full menus and uh, retain around default shortcuts. Then I can now cross this one. I can cross that. Therefore, basically now after uh, you cross, after you cross the Microsoft project, that is Microsoft Access project, when you now launch the project, you'll be in a position to uh, uh, you'll be in a position to see the uh, the splash form uh, loading. Then after the flash uh, form loads, uh, then you now see the, the 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 main form. Now you see the pro the first of all the project has also compact. Uh, then after compacting it has uh, crossed making sure that all the the, the objects are now working uh, as planned if look at what happens splash form roads then it allows you to access the uh, the switchboard also you realize that the menus the microsoft access menus have disappeared uh, they have disappeared leaving our project compact a program is now complete you can now see the program now is complete now you need to go to uh, okay you need to go to where you are supposed to to work on your uh, stuff the program is complete therefore thank you very much for watching uh, on that module the next thing uh, that is the, our next video I will be showing you how to uh, to access like for example this program of ours we may or we might have made a mistake and do we need to access the tables queries forms now how is that one uh, possible i also